Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the Premier League predictions week 17 I believe we're on now and um, week 16 has just literally passed um, I'm not too sure about week 18, I've looked at the fixtures as I do before I do make these videos I can't quite get my head around you know, why there are so less than fixtures please let me know in the comments below because I definitely need to know that and I want to know that um, anyway guys, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Bear Printing. Use the word SPORT as it's about on your screen now. Get 10% off the purchase price. So go and make sure you do that small thing. But anyway guys, I want to get straight into this video. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Everton versus West Ham. West Ham picking up a good point. Away to, I think it's away to Southampton. Um, can't quite remember how Everton got on, but you know they are playing ever so well this season. As uh, let's not forget the previous game before the Southampton game for West Ham that they did draw to Brighton. So I'm gonna go for an Everton win, and I'm gonna go for a comfortable three 0 Everton win. My next one is Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Man United be Wolves, I think, 1-0. Uh, Aston Villa, I think they won, but I can't quite remember the result. Anyway, two clubs that has had that sort of bit of rivalry in the past. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Leeds United. Leeds United did beat West Brom. I think it was 5-0. Quite heavy defeat for West Brom. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur did not play. The game got postponed uh, due to COVID. And obviously due to COVID, no more fans allowed in any football stadiums up and down the country, which is a real shame. But that's where it's going. Um, so, yeah. Tottenham didn't play, had a bit of a respite. I think Tottenham will win this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Sheffield United. Can't quite remember how Crystal Palace got on. Um, I'm going to go... I can't remember how Sheffield United... I think Sheffield United lost again. Uh, I can't quite remember how Crystal Palace got on. Looking at the shoulders of Sheffield United, I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Crystal Palace win. My next one is Brighton Hove Albion versus Wolverhampton. Brighton and Hove Albion. What can I say about Brighton? I mean, really, we go up against Arsenal, the team we have had. Really good results we've ever since we've been in the Premier League, and we play with no parent eleven, no parent strikers. Sorry, we did play eleven, just about uh, six midfielders and five defenders. No, five midfielders and five defenders. That's it. Um, five midfielders, five defenders. Um, no real strikers on the. Uh, no real strikers in the starting eleven. Four on the bench. What you playing at Potter? And that frustrated the hell out of me. And I didn't put anything on social media. But I did say to a couple of friends of mine who do support Arsenal. Um, that you will win that game. And that was a knock before the team was read out. So, you know, from a Brighton perspective, I think it's time for him to go. On all the other fans' perspective, and as I try to do this, you're looking at Brighton and you're looking at three points. Wolverhampton losing to um, Man United. Now... Wolverhampton losing to Man United, losing to Arsenal the week before. We're on a bit of a downer, but I think they will get back up this week with a 2-1 win for that one. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Arsenal. Arsenal winning two games on the bounce, beating Brighton and Wolverhampton Wanderers, I believe. Um, you know, fair, fair play to Arsenal. Going up against a very... Uh, struggling West Brom side this weekend. I can only see this game going one way, and I'm going to stick up for Arsenal, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Fulham. Relegation dogfight. 
Uh, Burnley are outside the relegation zone in 16th. Fulham didn't play, so I'm going to stick up for Fulham to win this game. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Leicester City. Newcastle, can't quite remember how they got on, nor Leicester. I'm going to go for a Leicester win, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Leicester win. My next one is Chelsea versus Manchester City. Um, two good clubs going at it. Two, uh, two good clubs that really, you know, have got the experience but really struggling this season. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Liverpool. Uh, Southampton. How did they go on? I know I mentioned them in this video as well. Anyway, I'm um, going up against a very good Liverpool side. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. Anyway guys, my, if you like Call of Duty, my Call of Duty channel uh, link is down in the description of the, uh, below. Along with the Tear Bear Printing uh, website. Along with all my social media. So guys, go make sure you guys do that small thing. You know, subscribe to my Call of Duty channel, especially if you enjoy it. There's going to be a lot of content coming up over the next couple of weeks. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.